Last month, I said it was a good time to buy PC components. Totoo pa rin ba yun this month? I'm gonna let you know in 27 seconds. Well, for our favorite AMD entry-level CPU, the 5600G, you might want to consider the newly released 5600 GT. Pero gano ba ka mahal tong GT na to? On the Intel side, mahirap na hanapin yung dating pinaka top of the line na 3900K. But is the new 4900K a lot more expensive? Surprisingly, yung hindi mahal is from NVIDIA. The 4080 Super has been going down in price by a lot. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred patent vendor. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, you know the drill. This is the episode where once a month we look at the prices from the four largest PC stores in the Philippines. We don't cover all CPU and GPU prices, but at least sana malawak yung coverage. Sufficient enough na you'll get an idea. Even if the part we're talking about isn't on the list, you can still get a sense if the part you're looking for, ballpark, maganda ba yung presyo. And we just need to do some housekeeping first for the list. Number one, for the high end of Intel, we've replaced the 3900K with the current Gen 4900K. We do have the old data down here below and then the 4900K data here. You notice that there isn't much of a price difference. Well, 10% price difference in fairness. 33, almost 34. Ito closer to 36. So less than a 10% price difference. It was getting harder to find the 3900K. So we updated our pricing data to track the 4900K. So there isn't much of a performance boost between the two CPUs. Enough to spend 3,000 pesos more. You know, if you're at that price range, you're probably figuring what the heck is 2,000, 3,000 pesos more. So you might as well go with it. <laughs> or it's really hard to cool the 4900K. So even top-notch coolers have trouble keeping it cool enough that it reaches its maximum speed. Also, I do need to apologize this month. We track the four largest PC stores, but we don't tell you their names. Para di naman for free publicity for them. Kung gusto nilang free publicity, gumawa na lang sila ng sariling YouTube channel nila. But I do have to note that the website of Wash, usually magading website ni Wash, easy to madaling intindihin na sa yung mga items plus madaling mag-search. Yung problema, nag-update sila nung site, mas maganda konte yung UI. I mean, there are slightly more graphical inputs, so may mga pictures and things like that. Yung problema, or new icons as it were, yung problema, they messed up the functionality. So when you search for a particular item, then you click next page, pupunta siya sa next page nung overall list, hindi yung category na pinili mo. Ganon din for filters, you search for something, you, you filter it like price, highest to lowest, lowest to high, babalik ulit siya dun sa pinaka-master list, hindi dun sa sub-search na ginawa mo. So why does that matter to us? Because now it's really hard to check Ano yung prices of a particular item? Magta-type in ka ng 4060 and then you get a whole bunch of results when you click next page to try to look for the cheapest or you try to filter it for the cheapest. Yun nga, the UI breaks basically. It doesn't understand what you're trying to do. So yung data for wash for this month might not be accurate. They might have cheaper prices than the ones that I found. Just a caveat. Third update for AMD, we like tracking the 5600G because it's a very good CPU for its price. Ganda ng value for money niya. You don't need a GPU to run it. And maganda rin yung inbuilt graphics niya. Now, we didn't change the category. We're still following the 5600G. 
But I noted on the market na may mga 5600 GT na, which is a slightly faster chip. It's basically the same chip from AMD, just slightly faster, both for the CPU side and the integrated graphics or the iGPU side, yung APU niya. So if you're thinking of the 5600G, I've seen the 5600 GT going for around 300 pesos more or so. You might as well, I mean, you might not feel the performance increase kasi maliit lang talaga yung bump in performance niya. But for that price, you might as well just get the 5600 GT. And lastly, for the Super Series, matagal ko nang sinasabi for the past few months, for the 4070 Super and the 4080 Super, they should be faster and cheaper than their base models. Yung base, non-super 4070, yung base, non-super 4080. But the problem with our shops is na mabagal mag-price decrease kasi I feel na naipit sila. So they still had stocks of the base cards 4070, 4080. They would don't want to sell it at a loss. So they're selling the 4070. Ang weird ng pricing. Mas mahal yung 4080, the Super Series, 4070 Super, 4080 Super, even though those should be cheaper than the base models. Although we noted last month that prices have been correcting, but slowly. And then to try to capture that reality, we're still tracking the 4070 base model. But again, the 4070 Super should be cheaper and it's faster. Pero pinilita na natin yung 4080. Imbis na yung base model, sinusundan na natin yung 4080 Super. And in particular for the 4080 Super, ang laki nung pagbagsak nung prices for the 4080 and also for the 4080 Super. So those are all of the changes and we actually have good prices. Across the board, we've seen decreases for the AMD CPUs and for the price increases, hindi naman sila ganun kalaki. So we'll do the summary first, slight price decrease. The average, again, these are the average prices of the four stores. Slight price decrease for the 1650. 3050, as a side note also, hindi ko na sinama sa main notes, we started tracking the 6 gigabyte version instead of the 8 gigabyte. Kasi na-retire na yung 8 gigabyte nung December. So it's kind of silly to track prices of a card, of a variant of a card na will become less and less available through time. Which actually has come down a lot in price. So even in the previous months, we were tracking the 8 gigabyte version. So on December 13, siya, tumas ng 14, still closer to 14, bumagsak to 12, and then now it's around 11 or 10,700. So pababa ng pababa ng prices, no 3050, even when we were still tracking the 8GB version, and then now we're at the 6GB version, which is around 10,800, the cheapest price that we could find. Slight price increase for the 3060, this one we still track the 12GB version, very slight price increase, mga 400 pesos. Same for the 4060, a slight price increase lang of only 200 pesos. Again, the 4060 is cheaper and faster than the 3060 12 gigabytes. So there's no reason why these two prices should be very close to each other. Again, it's a indicative of our market na some stores might have stocked a lot of the 3060 nang lumabas yung bagong version, di pa na flush out lahat or di pa na benta lahat ng mga 3060 sila. They don't want to sell it at a loss, so medyo mataas pa rin yung prices. Which is what's nice about having a small store like Hardware Sugar. We don't have a large inventory, so that's not a good thing. But the upside of that is that we can adapt quickly to changes in the market or by maglabas ng bagong card or CPU. Mas price competitive yung prices namin for those newer items since we don't have to take into consideration old inventory that we still need to sell off. 4070, and again, this is the base model, not the super model. Very slight price decrease of around. 100 pesos or so. 4080 Super, this one I did change the label to make it clear that this is the Super line. So you can find the old data down here below. Old 3900K data, old 4080 data. But even last month, the cheapest 4080 was 72,000. If you scroll back up, the cheapest 4080 Super average price is around 67,600. So at the higher tier level, 4080 Super, great price. And like, tino mo to. So it's a 4080 Super. 4080 Super versus the 7900XTX. Basically, dun, itong dalawang cards sa to nagtatalo. The 7900XTX is the fastest card from AMD, but it doesn't compete anywhere close to the 4090, which is the top of the hill for NVIDIA. Actually, mas katapat ni 7900XTX yung 4080, hindi yung Super. Mas mabilis pa yung Super, and it's even cheaper now. There was a slight price increase from the XTX. 
the 700 XTX around a thousand pesos more. Whereas for the 4080 Super, yun nga, you can find it around 67,600. So not only is it faster, it's cheaper. Very hard to recommend AMD's top of the line at this price level. 4090 still expensive, but prices have been going down. 6600 from AMD price increased slightly. No change on the 7700 XT. The 7700 XT is sort of the mid range of AMD. Um, it's much more expensive than, let's say, for example, a 4060, but a lot cheaper than a 4070. And very roughly, that's probably, you know, that's the price point. Parang it, it would try to beat the 4070, although the, the price difference is quite large. The 4070 probably edges it out in some cases, but the price difference is so huge that you might want to consider the 7700 XT. Although, again, the 4070 Super, which is faster than the 4070, should be cheaper. But it won't be anywhere near as cheap as the 7700 XT. Across the board, for all of the AMD CPUs we track, there have been price decreases. Pero maliit lang naman. Price decrease for the 7950X, 7800X3D, one of the best gaming CPUs you can get on the market currently. I'm happy to note that we it's easy to find again. Last month kasi... Last month, we actually tell you here in the breakdown how many stores out of the four carried it. Last month, only one carried it. This month, we have three out of the four carrying it. So easier to find the 7800X3D this month. So major back in stock. 7600X, slight price decrease. Very slight price decrease for the 5600X, which is still a very good mid-range to slightly entry-level CPU. And the very good performance value 5600G. A little hard to find. The GT version is available now. Only slightly more expensive from what I saw. As mentioned earlier, you might want to go with the GT version. Na lang. 4900K tracking for the first time and the label has been updated. Around 36,000. If we scroll down to the old 3900K data we had, it was closer to 34. So only like a 2,000 peso difference between the two. Again, yung concern mo sa 4900K is how to cool it. Very difficult CPU. 14700K, no price change. 13600K, slight price decrease. Although this is hard to find. I think only two stores had it. 13600K, yeah, only two stores had it. Our suppliers also are selling 14th gen na, hindi na yung 13th gen Intel. And towards the sort of entry level or previous generations of Intel na medyo modern pa rin is the 12500 at 13000. No price change there. We'll go to the shop deep dive. So that those are the average prices among the four. But we do also break it down for you by shop. Again, the shops are anonymous. So may pseudonym sila. No price change for Wedge, 1650, 3050. Slight price change. You can see the price difference over here. So 3050 Eagle, 11680. Although as mentioned, this is the 8 gigabyte. And then now this is the 6 gigabyte. 3060 couldn't find, which is starting to become common. We've only found two stores with 3060s compared to three stores last month. So, which is what you would expect. You really want, you really expect the 4060 to be gaining market share over the 3060. 4060, um, price increase actually, about 1,000 pesos. 4070, no change. 4080 Super, very good price, 67,150. And 4090. A uh, bit more expensive, around a lot, like 4,000 compared to its price last month. Same model pa naman sila, MSI 4090 Gaming. From Roy, slight price decrease of the 1650, no prices for the 3050 6GB. Then we have the prices for the 3060, 4060, 4070, no price changes. See, Roy doesn't really focus on the high end, so no 4080 Super, not a surprise. Um, and the 4090 also, wala sila stock. Same as last month, wala stock no 4070, 4080, 4090. Joker, pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just breezing through it. Slight price decrease for the 1650, and the price decrease for the ROG Strix. You notice last month, ROG Strix din to, but it was like around 152K. Now it's around 141,500. So 10,000... Peso difference. It's a big difference if you're thinking of a 4090. The ROG models are a bit more expensive. Um, so you can see that 
in the other stores. So you see Wedge may 4090, mga 112K. And the best price is Wash with the 4090 Ventus at around 104K. Moving on to Wash, price decreases for the 1650. And again, because the 3050 became 6GB. 3060, they do have a 3060 around 18,000. See, this is really silly. The 3060 is around 18K. The 4060 is also around 18K. And again, the two cards, the 4060 is faster, should be cheaper, and you get uh, advanced DLSS options that are not available on the 30 series card. Unless you really have a thing for the Galax brand, Palette is also pretty good, and the price difference is negligible, and you do get a appreciable speed bump. 4070, no price change. 4080 Super, very good price at 65,950. Just the AMD cards, you notice that the AMD cards, no real change. Although we did get a price decrease from Wash for the 6600. Last month it was 11995 and this month it is still 11995 This one may slight price increase. So it's interesting to note that the NVIDIA GPUs are actually going down in price. The AMD prices have stagnated. There's nothing pushing. There are no new models currently to push the older stock price down. We are expecting new GPUs from AMD, maybe around mid of the year. So, but currently, wala pa. And that is pretty much the same story for CPUs. Very few price differences. Although, hindi naman ganun ka volatile yung CPU market compared to the GPU market. So, I won't waste your time. You can go through this by yourself. Again, this list is available 24-7, online, accessible to everyone. Is it a good time to buy? If you are locked in your budget and you don't want to wait anymore, these are pretty good prices, especially for NVIDIA GPUs. Thanks for watching.